Hey everybody, Lewis here, R Shack Barbecue and other things. Well, today I'm going to review another product that I was sent. Uh, as many of you know, and I'll have a link to it, I was sent the meat stick, the original meat stick, a while back, and it had the extender set and uh, all that. Uh, when I really liked this, I thought it did a pretty good job. It was fairly easy to use. Their app is awesome. Uh, and uh, it charges rather quickly. So it's pretty nice and it comes with its own charger. Uh, here is the stick that, uh, you know, that you stick in your meat and it's wireless. Uh, with the extender, you can uh, use it on the Wi-Fi. Uh, here's the little probe that you would stick in the meat, and it was it was pretty accurate. Uh, and you can calibrate them and things like that. Here's the extender, uh, which is nice. Well, they reached out to me and asked if uh, I would do another review on their new one. Uh, they just sent me their new uh, meat stick and uh, new and improved I guess let's open it up and take a look at it let me get my trusty box knife out of my pocket put my glasses on <sighs> it sucks getting old anyway let's go ahead and cut this little safety tab off set that there all right so we open it up it's a tight little box there we go. Thank you for ordering the meat stick. <laughs> and then it comes with a little uh, instruction manual, manual here on how to do it. You can now remove the stick from the charger and insert it completely in the meat. So here's the charger. Uh, let's see, it has room for two AA batteries in it. To charge it up, we've got a little uh, little caution sticker on here that's uh, to tell you always insert the stick into the meat up to the handle to prevent damage so you need to slide it all the way up to here uh, to prevent it from getting damaged let's get some batteries in it and uh, get this thing charging I did uh, download their app we'll get this thing connected to it um, and uh, see if it needs any firmware updates, things like that. And then we're gonna actually use this here uh, for a cook. And we might even put the old one in too, uh, just to do a comparison between the two. So, the new Meat Stick X. Very nice. We got a couple of batteries here. Figure out which way it goes. Something, oh, it shows on there. I'm going the wrong way. Go in like that. All right. Let's put the cover back on. Push the button. We have a green light. I push this button. Uh, so I think that believe I believe that means it's fully charged. Uh, but we'll read. Let's see what it says about charging. Insert uh, two AA batteries. Click the button to activate your charger. Please charge the stick for a minimum of four hours before the first year use. All right. So we'll just let it charge up. What's nice is there's a couple little magnets on here that actually is magnetic. It'll go down on my freezer there. Uh, the old one has magnets too. Let's see here, is it? So you can see how this cover comes off. Um, it uses uh, AAA batteries, the smaller ones. I don't have any of those right here. But we'll get this charged up as well uh, and uh, test it out. So. We'll get some new batteries for this. We'll get this one charging up. We'll get that one charging up. Play around with this a little bit and uh, probably do more videoing of it tomorrow. But this is the new Meat Stick X and the original Meat Stick. We'll see how they do against each other. So let's take a look at the new Meat Sticks X charger. So right now, any orders over $100 and you will receive $10 off. Get priority free shipping on orders over $150 US only. 
So they're running a little promotion right now. So let's see what the uh, Meat Stick X is. So we can find it here. So the regular Meat Stick uh, is just the charger and the uh, probe, wireless probe is $69.99. Whereas if we go down here uh, and read about it, the probe itself, ceramic candle, which would be your ambient temperature, has a uh, withstands up to 572 degrees. Your stainless probe internal temperature has a max of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Deep fry, sous vide, and dishwasher safe. Temperature range 32 to 212. Battery life 24 hours plus. Okay, that's just on the probe. If we look at the Meat Stick X, you can see it, it's built into the um, charger is an extender which extends it up to 100 feet indoors and 260 feet outdoors and you can use up to eight sticks so let's go into buy and that happens to be $99.99 so there's a little information about it I'll have a link to this website uh, for you to check out the new all new meat stick okay here is the meat stick app a warning connection loss to the probe okay okay no stick detected so what you gotta do is you gotta press this button here and set up cook press it searching so it found it we are going to be grilling poultry and we're going to put this in the turkey breast Target internal, it says 165. Target ambient, we are going to slide it. We're going to say 375 is where we want that. And we're going to hit next. Creating cook. So this one here is the uh, original or the new meat stick X. This is the old meat stick. I'm going to set it in here in the charger. Let me go put this in the uh, breast. Okay, so we got that there. We'll hit start cooking. Give you a... Uh, it's in silent mode right now. It says the internal is 59. So now we want to add a stick. And it says our... Uh, it says our pig temp is 71. Coming up to temp, we want to add a stick. I hit the plus up here, hit the start on there, hit next, it's searching for it. So there it found it. We'll go back to our grill, poultry. This one we're going to do uh, chicken breast. We want to put this up to 375. Actually, let's put this one at 355. One, two, so we got this one set at three, come on, 355, we hit next, scanning, creating cook, and we'll put this one in the other side. Over here, I hit start, here are the warnings, okay. So there you can see we got 158 is a pit temp, it's at 53. The one I just put in there is at 62 and 59. So let's look at the uh, turkey real quick. All right, as it spins around here, you can see. I don't want to lose too much of our heat. This is the new Meat Stick X. I left the paper on it, so we'll just leave that in the breast. This one over here is the old meat stick. So we'll test them and see how they do. All right, so you can see 
One probe is reading 71 and 280 is our pit temps. This is the older one. Uh, it's reading at 66 and the pit at 273. It's coming up. Now we'll just watch these. I have my extender over here uh, sending it and this is also an extender so it's sending them. We'll see if we can see these in the house and we'll just let this turkey go for a while. Okay, we're here in the house and you can see that the meat stick top one is reading, uh, the new meat stick X is reading 395 uh, pit temp and 98 degrees in the uh, breast, whereas the older uh, meat stick is reading a pit temp of 372 and uh, 89.90 in the uh, thigh area. So uh, it does reach here in the house. A little bit difference in the uh, pit internal temp. Um, now that one's up over 400. So I'm going to go start working the vents down and get it down to where I want it, closer to the 350, uh, 375 range. All right, I know this was a little different video here where I've cut in and out and all over the place. Uh, but it'll all come around uh, on the next video, uh, which is... Uh, when I actually uh, get in there and show you how I did that turkey. Um, we have videos coming up, but I kind of have uh, spaced these videos out where I did the uh, outdoor propane burner, and now it was the meat stick, and then the other product that you'll see uh, early next week, and then next week, next Saturday, you'll see it all come together. So. This video is about the new Meat Stick X, which uh, is really cool because with the uh, older version, the, the older Meat Stick, um, the one thing I don't like is this battery cover. Uh, the batteries, they don't really make a great connection there, um, and it looks like they really improved that. And then you had to have uh, the extender uh, if you wanted it to have any range. Sorry, that was upside down. Um, so you had two pieces, whereas the new Meat Stick X has the extender right built into it. And I would say, uh, as you saw in part of this video, um, where the extender was sending the signal out, I don't think this one here was sending it out. I think this one was sent, sending both signals to it so that that was very cool uh, that this is now uh, usable as just a separate unit now you can get what they call the bridge you can get the bridge for the older version too uh, it'll work on it which actually hooks up to you know the uh, cloud or uh, the Wi-Fi and sends the signal out via the cloud so you could be you know anywhere and still be able to monitor those temps. Uh, I will just give you a little uh, insight uh, you saw some variations now to me when you see that type of variations in the cook it could be the placement of those and it could also be uh, how the fire is built around there and how uh, uh, you know, in the rotisserie, one side might be hotter than the other. Uh, so things play into that. But I can tell you this in advance when we get to the uh, actual cook video, you will see near the end, uh, they were reading very close to each other. So uh, they adjusted out and uh, both uh, probes were right on. I love the app. The app, you know, it shows you can graph it, you can save your cooks, you can do everything with it. Uh, pretty modern um, standards for apps now. Uh, and uh, this is the new Meat Stick X. And uh, like I said, I'll have a link uh, down below uh, to their website so you can go check them out. And uh, I like them because they're wireless and you can use them like I'm doing on the rotisserie. Uh, you don't have to worry about any wires. You can, Thanksgiving coming, they're oven safe. You can put them right in your oven 
monitor that temperature that you got going on in there uh, or you can use them out in the grills like I do so anyhow like I always say thank you for watching until next time my friends continue watching you'll see how this all plays out in the end here so uh, look forward to those videos and uh, more to come till next time grill on <laughs>